Welcome to Duke Gear, Montana for the 2020 Devil's Brigade Shootout. This is the National Rifle League's 13th match of the 2020 season, hosted by Chaz Bells and presented by Warhorse Development and Stiller Actions. This match marks the NRL's first outing to Montana, providing a brand new venue for the league. The gorgeous location of this match gives competitors an exciting course of fire with many natural props and challenging wind conditions. This weekend, we will be following one squad as they take on 20 stages across two days. With a jaw-dropping location and never-before-seen course of fire, this match should provide an amazing experience. You're watching the 2020 Devil's Brigade Shootout. And you can set it up any way you want. It just no part of the rifle can touch the roll bar. It has to be the bag. As the competition settles in, our squad begins at stage eight. Up there above the This target was a mill. This 523 was actually a mill. So that direction there. Impact! off the Jeep, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. That was, that was, 
Hey, that was cool. You. Hey, guys. You start out shooting a full size zip stick. And then you move on to three targets. Uh, you have two smaller zip sticks and one bear. And uh, the point is really kick in here. I just put it to hold five and a half mil. It's a great I hit, I hit, I miss, I come back and I shoot the wrong target. And then I time oh, out. Oh, I did that. Yeah. I was like, oh, he God. He needed two points. Now I Exactly what did. I did then. Yeah, now I know what my wind is. I'm like, let's go. That's, so yeah. then I pulled the same wind, which was like 1.4. And it dropped down back down to mill? It blows way left. Oh, it blows like, off? You're kidding me. So now I go to the next one, I hit, So hit. Okay. You think start with 21, not 18? Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not sure. I, I haven't even looked at it. Let me, yeah, let me but know. his first shot? No, I'm just saying miles per hour. I'm, th I'm thinking starting to open it up with an 18, but because I'm up. But. Everybody ready? I know he didn't, he's just old. Oh. 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 Okay. to shoot next? Our next, next is, Which is? Lily. Lily. Right, no, right no, whoever's after Mike. Who is after Mike? now? 15. Time. No, it was five. Oh. Huh? I'm Morgan King. I uh, just got done here with stage 13. It's a uh, four positions off a log and then your last position is prone and you know he kind of mixed it up a little bit to where you have to decide which way you want to go on the log and where you want to start with the bipod uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, deal we got, we're dealing with 30 mile an hour winds and it's gusty and so it's been kind of tough everybody's getting beat up I I, uh, I didn't do very good on it but there's been a couple people who've done okay but man it's a it's been a pretty fun match so far and we're I'm excited to go there's a lot of shooting left, which is good, so hopefully I can make up some ground because it hasn't been good so far. Jake Bibber here from Washington State. One thing I like about this stage is it makes you think. All the stages are completely different. Hi, Regina Milkovich. I'm from Arizona. That was pretty challenging. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish that well. So, so far, it's been a fun match. Carson Rutherford from Elk City, Oklahoma. I'm at the Heat Stroke Open. It was pretty difficult. High winds, fast mover.
Heading into day two, the squad continues at stage 15. Hi, this is Eric Anderson. Uh, yesterday went well. I ended up in the seventh overall yesterday, so I hung in there. Uh, it's real tight at the top. Uh, they squatted us all, and the, all the top shooters are in squad one here today. And uh, I just got done with the ELR stage. Uh, we had 900 yards, 1,200 yards, 1,300 yards, and a um, little over a mile. Um, so I did well on that stage. Uh, I got an eight out of 12, three shots per target. Uh, and the mile target I connected on the last shot, so I couldn't be any happier with that. So here we're out in beautiful Montana. Uh, we're just south of the Bob Wilderness area that's right behind us here. It's a beautiful place that Chaz Bales uh, runs this match at. I highly suggest coming up and shooting this match. One minute!
can't rest your rifle on the tree. Your gear can be up in the tree, but your rifle can't be rested on it. Two minutes. Questions? Where, where is Someone has to walk in front of you. Gosh dang it, I don't know what to do. Just say I have. This is tough. I missed, I think I got lost in my direction behind. 1.2, 1.2, 1.3. Yeah, I'm aiming Seth McAnally from Great Falls, Montana. I just got done shooting the stage. We got four ripsticks, uh, one shot per ripstick. Right to left, left to right, right to left. I got a nice 10 out of 12. Obviously, it's pretty windy out here today, so it's been pretty tough. Uh, been an awesome match. Thanks, Nintendo. Just high. Huh. Good run, buddy. One mil. Last shot. Yeah. One mil. And then you had to cut it on your way across, didn't you? Dude, where did I miss those? I missed two on the off third the right target. Shoulder. Yeah, off the right. Right. So I took off, I put point eight there, point or one oh everywhere else. Yeah. So yeah. you can't you can't run if you're running at full value all the time, then yeah. That's you're why gonna, you're gonna have a tail. So I was gonna add a tenth to them is all I was gonna do.
time? 32. Alright guys, and we are here with our top young gun, Jake Miller. Jake, congratulations, sir. Thank you. So this is your second uh, match win as a young gun from your last two matches for the yes. NRL. Yes. But you shot a match in between that. Yes. So it's back to back for you. Yep. How does that feel? Uh, tiring. Tiring? You shot lights out this weekend. 77 points today. Yep. I mean, that's huge. You, I, I don't know where you were yesterday, but I know you were in the top four <laughs> and you took top four today. Yes. I mean, you, there's gotta be more than just a yes. Uh, Come on, woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> baby! So I, I had 24 points yesterday and uh, I came up 77 points, which put me in fourth place with 101 points. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. That means you shot better than probably 80 or 90% of the adults here this weekend. Probably. That's got to say something. Probably. That, that's huge. Yep. Now you're getting ready for Washington next weekend. Are we going for a three-peat? Yes. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure watching you shoot. I know that you don't like saying a lot, so we're going to keep it short. I've learned my lesson. I can't get you to talk. No. But I do get a smile every once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> Congratulations. I look forward to seeing you next weekend, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, we are here with our top lady, Miss Andy Cloninger. Andy, congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations on your marriage. <laughs> Thank you. So this weekend, I had the opportunity to watch you shoot a couple of stages. <sighs> the worst stages of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that way, right? I know. Always when you guys are watching, it's the worst stage of the day for me, it feels like. I'm bad the luck. Nerves. It's the nerves. I'm bad luck. I'm sorry. It's making nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, how was the match for you? It was a weekend of your mental game. Honestly, the wind just beat everybody down. Not one person, but everybody had to shoot in this Yes. <laughs> it, it was intense. Yeah, to say the least. That it was, was intense. So, I want to know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people out there want to know. Uh -oh. You've been shooting with your boyfriend for a while. <sighs> you've shot a couple of matches since you've been married. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. How does it feel? Is it any different shooting now with your husband than it was with your boyfriend? Well, see, that was a, it's a really weird evolution of events. I started out as an RO. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and I gave Adam a zero, and to this very day, he won't let me live it down. Good so, for you. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gave him a zero too, just on principle. Yeah. So he did that, um, but it, it, it's nice. It's something I get to share with Adam, and I love it. And sometimes we get to 
knock it heads a little bit, but you know it, it's good. It, I, it it's good for us. So. And you always win. I was gonna win that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, Peter <Yeah>. Gallagher. <laughs> No, not always, <laughs> but I do learn a lot from being able to shoot with Adam, so it's nice. Awesome. I do appreciate it. So. Next week you're in Washington? I am in Washington next week. So we get two weekends in a row with you two? Yeah! Party? Yeah, of course, duh! Right? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Top lady? Back to back? You know what? I'm going to go out and just try to shoot better than I did this weekend. That's my only goal. So, and if I do that, then good things will come, right? Awesome. Alright, well thank you guys. See you later. Congratulations, Adam! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? We are here at the 2020 Devil's Brigade in Montana and we are here with our champion, Owen Koppen. Owen, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Did I say that last name right? Keppen. Keppen. Yep, Owen right. Keppen. You guys know I'm horrible with names. I apologize. <laughs> so how was this match for you? Well, it was an awesome match. Yesterday was just a battle trying to get through as many hits as you could and we didn't have too many as you know a whole, a whole group, but today was a lot better day and uh, I think uh, I've heard Scott talk about emotional durability. durability. Um, it was just about trying to keep your head in the game and just be consistent. Yesterday was an extremely tough day. When we looked at the final scores from day one, it looked like it was a four-stage match. Yeah. I mean, people were scoring, I mean, in the low 30s, 40s, 20s. It was completely crazy. How do you mentally battle that? I mean, we're talking about mental strength, you know. How do you mentally battle that coming into day two? Um, well, first thing is I felt a lot better when I got back to the lodge and found out everyone was below 50%. Um, <laughs> that helps. And then it's just a new day. You just got to come out and try to shoot your game and forget about yesterday. Um, today's a new game and uh, yeah, just go out and get, in, get as many hits as you can and see where you end up. So, yeah. so yesterday we had 30, 35 mile to 40 mile per hour winds and gusts. Today we had about half of that. How did you battle the wind? Um, today was probably a little bit less wind, but it was a little switchier, so you just had to keep an eye on the, you know, the shooter or two ahead of you and just see if stuff's changing and watching the mirage. And lots of trees and stuff to look at here in Montana with some, some leaves, and uh, that gives you a lot of feedback, so I had that going for us. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to watch you shoot all weekend. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. I look forward to Are you heading to Washington next, or where are you I am going to probably go to Rock Lake next weekend. Awesome. Well, we yeah. look forward to seeing you there. All right. Cool. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Joe. This concludes the 2020 Devil's Brigade Shootout. Congratulations to Owen Copen for taking first place in the match. The NRL would also like to congratulate Jake Biver and Morgan Keene for taking second and third in this match, as well as many other great competitors close behind them. Thank you to the match directors, ROs, sponsors, competitors, and everyone else who helped make this match possible. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on all NRL news and content. As always, stay safe. Keep shooting, and we'll see you all next time.